So, I want to strip some paint of some miniatures. Because uh, back in these, this is my army in the day, which I want to do. And back in the day, when the movies come out, I didn't really go for that green ghostly look. I wanted to paint mine more corpse like. But the problem is, I'm not, I don't like that anymore. I mean, they were to the bottom here, like this as a group, that just looked like a brown, muddy mess. So, I actually now want to strip them and actually, I'm actually come around to the green ghostly look. So, what I want to do is find a technique for stripping paint for miniatures because in our range we have metal, plastic, and resin. And I kind of want to find a one product that will do all three because uh, you know, these are metal. So, with these, I could just use paint stripper and be done with it, but you know. I want to use some of my models I do want, I've got other plans for, are oh, actually plastic, resin I'm okay with because I'm quite happy with paint job on them, but, so, what I want to do is strip paint off them, and I already had this guy here, and I want to paint more to look like this, or, you know, that Lord of the Rings ghost look, so, but I need to get them paint off these, and so what I'm going to try is this stuff you can get in the UK, Decil. It's for first aid, medical, and personal hygiene uses. And we should just add paint strip. Now, I think this should, shouldn't have any adverse effect to plastic, metal, or resin. Uh, I'm not too worried about the base. I'm not going to get them off the base, I'm going to put them in and I'm going to rebase them afterwards. I've got plans for them as well. The base is more of a themed base rather than generic. So that's what we're going to do in a minute. We're going to go over and start trying to get the paint off these. Okay, so what we're going to use is just a old takeaway container. I have metal miniatures. I've got plastic miniature here, and I don't have any uh, resin ones that I want to strip. But I do have this resin dweller in the dark uh, head, spare head that you get, and I. Just slap some black paint on it, so we'll see how we get. Now we're going to get our Detto, which clearly says for first aid, uh, medical, and personal hygiene, and stripping miniatures. Clearly says it there. So we're going to open this. Oh, that stinks! And if I stick that in here, oh, I know I went to. Uh, school in the 80s. You'd recognise this smell. That's what they clean the toilets out with. Oh, that stinks. Uh, I don't know if this could be enough. I'm not worried about the bases. Because I'm going to have to say the free basing. I'm just going to dump them in. I don't know how long it's going to take. I'll check back in about an hour. I think, I imagine it's going to be about a 24 hour process. So I'll keep checking back. Go. All right, and we'll just uh, switch in. Come back in about an hour's time. Okay, so it's been a few hours, and you can already see the paint coming off them. So I'm gonna grab a toothbrush now. Yeah, it's already coming off off my fingers there. So that's oh yeah, look at that. So it's stripping off, stripping off okay. So it's got face detail. I don't know if you can see that? It's just giving a rinse because there's lots of uh, yeah, that's brilliant. So it's, Give them a scrub and give them a rinse. All right, that's the metal. Which else are? Oh, broke his sword. This is the plastic. Apart from the fact I've snapped his sword off and I've whooshed him around just now. If it comes off the plastic, which I think, yeah, just peeling away. 
what I'm after is not only is it does it come off the plastic, does it damage the plastic, and I don't think it does. It still feels nice and hard. There you go. So apart from the fact I've damaged these sword just now, I'll have a look before I start filming. No problem. It's not a model I wanted to keep for any particular reason. It's just for purposes of this video. But yeah, it comes off, gets the plaque, gets paint off plastic. And the plastic's all still nice and sturdy. Let's see if I can root around for that resin skull. Um, lost it. It's lovely. Oh, there we go. I got it. Oh, well, yeah, the paint just fell off that already without me even. Yeah, so I'd say I left them for about two hours. Yeah, and that's the resin, and it hasn't <coughs> softened the resin or anything or anything to the resin. So okay, what I'm going to do now, when I'm done, and I'm going to carry on scrubbing the, and then I'll rinse them off with water, and I'll show you the end result, I think best bit. So I'll carry on scrubbing all these. And uh, get back to you. Because you don't want to watch me scrubbing all these miniatures. So what I did was uh, I got them out. Gave them a, a massive clean in some warm soapy water just to get rid of all the detail and paint residue. And after that I gave them a good rinsing in clear water to get rid of the soap and other bits and pieces. And this is how it's come out. It's not too bad, there's a bit, still a bit black in the darkest bits. I could have probably got a better brush to scrub in there, I think that's all that is. But that should be enough to, uh, you know, get enough paint off to re, uh, repaint. So that's the metal one. Uh, come on. How did you get these coming? There we go. That's the metal one uh, stripped. My fingers are nice and that. <laughs> Peel uh, wrinkly. Uh, this is plastic. Yeah, I couldn't get in that much detail, but it does get the paint off if you want to spend a bit more time scrubbing it off with no damage to the plastic, apart from what I did when the snap is stored. And the same resin. It gets the. Uh, Paint off your resin nicely. You know. There we go. So yeah. So Dettol is your one-stop solution to get paint off of all three uh, mediums: metal, plastic, and resin. So that's good news. The bad news is now I've got loads of models to add to my already massive backlog that were already painted, and I've got to paint again, albeit in a different style. So yeah, that's stripping paint off miniatures. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it, and subscribe to the channel for more great content. Game on and continue to support our wonderful hobby.